Hi guys, Mike here from IC Shades. In this one, I'll show you how to get a thousand gamer score for the game Juzan. The game has 21 achievements and it takes around four to five hours to get them all. We'll do a full playthrough, which is all that you need. And after that, we'll have a small section for the misc achievements, even though you can also find them in the full playthrough. If you miss anything, don't worry, because after you finish the game and only after you finish the game, the chapters menu will be unlocked. You can choose to replay any chapter and for each one, you'll have a list of all collectibles. Do not forget to like and subscribe, and if you are ready, let's dive into the game. Select new game, and after the cutscene, the first chapter will start. Daymark. Move forward and use the A button to climb on the rocks. To actually climb a wall, you will have to use the right trigger and the left trigger, one for each hand. When you press one of them, your character will grip. So, an easy way to climb is to alternate them. When you climb, you use the rope for safety, so pretty often, you need to wind it up so you don't run out of it. The left thumbstick dictates the direction your character is climbing, so you can also move laterally. While climbing, you can also attach secondary pythons, you have three. And jump. The pythons are used before hard jumps, so if you fall, you can return back to the python's position and not start from the beginning. Stamina is important, because if you run out of it, you will fall. Pressing the left thumbstick will replenish it, however, in one climbing session, the base stamina will slowly decrease and only recover when you reach flat ground. Make a 180 here, climb, and you will find and read your first letter. There are two types of letters, but you don't have to worry about that. Just collect them all, 57, and you will get two achievements, one for each type. As this is the first letter, the first contact achievement will pop. Turn left, climb the stairs, and go right. Attach the rope to the wall with the X button and then descend, LB. Do a wall run, grab the bars and climb up. Here on the left you'll find the first shell out of 12. You will listen to it and an ear to the past achievement will pop as this is the first one. B to quit, climb the ladder and on the right, you'll find letter number 2. Continue, attach the rope, X, descend, wall run, jump, grip the rocks and climb. Make a left, 180 and climb some more. Jump down and under the wood structure you will find letter number 3. Use the ladder to go back up and left. Climb and place a python because you will need to do a double jump. Go left, use X to attach the rope and then use RB to ascend. Swing, jump up the stairs and then climb. You will need to jump a couple of times here and you can see that your stamina and also your base stamina is going down with each jump. So try to jump only when you need it and also rest. Climb left. Then climb a ladder. and then circle the hole. Make a right and find letter number 4. Then go back and on the right you will find your first pile of rocks out of 20 throughout the game. Interact with it to add one rock on top and complete it. As this is the first one, the first stone achievement will pop. Circle the hole back. 
go outside and cross the bridge. Stay on the right to find letter number 5. Continue and complete rock pile number 2. And then go up the ladder, left and 180 to find letter number 6. Turn around, make a right and up the stairs. Through the building, left and up some more stairs. This time in the building, turn left and attach the rope and pull the bridge by pressing X. Cross it and find letter number 7. And then start to climb. Place a python and swing back and forth to reach the wood platform. B to wind up and X to attach the rope. Ascend, swing and grab the ledge and use it to move along the building with a couple of jumps. A weird jump so I recommend a python. Pass the ladder to find letter number 8. And then climb the ladder. Sound the horn by pressing the Y button and chapter 1 will be done. As a recap, in chapter 1 we have 8 letters, 2 rock piles and 1 shell. Chapter 2 Migration Go forward, climb the plant, up the stairs and use the zipline. You can now use the companion's ability, D-pad up and make vegetation grow. Use that to make the plant grow and climb or grip to it as it grows, it saves time. Hop on the platform and start to climb. Use the ability, place a python as it is a weird jump here, I fell a couple of times, double jump towards the plant and grab it. Climb and go in the cave to find the first fresco out of 12. Use the companion's ability to activate it and as it is the first one, the echo from the past achievement will pop. Go back and continue to climb. Place a python and then double jump. Forward, then right and complete rock pile number 3. Turn around, use the ability to make the plant grow buds and grip to them moving to the right. Use the planks to continue and go up. Ability again and go left. Planks again and reach the top. We'll do an achievement here, although you can do it in other places as well. Right trigger to attach the rope while near an edge and descend a bit. Start wall running from left to right and use the X button to place a python and do it near the edge, aka end of the wall run. It may require a couple of tries, but eventually the angel's carabiner achievement will pop. Climb back to the platform. and go left. Go over the wall and you'll find and listen to shell number 2. Go back. Use the ability to make the plant grow and use it to climb. Use the ability again for the second plant and climb left. From this platform, right trigger to attach the rope and descend, swing, jump over the planks and then ascend, climb on the wood platform and complete rock pile number 4, ascend back, and use the plant again 
and go right. Place a python, descend, swing and use the ability, and then swing again and grab on the buds. Double jump, use the ability again, and once more, and reach the top. On the right, you'll find letter number 9. And over the small bridge, you'll find letter number 10. We'll do three achievements here. d pad left to interact with your companion. The Adventure Buddies achievement will pop. Continue to interact with it. You need to do it 20 times. In the meantime, scare the Choco back into the burrow. Just wait here and interact with the companion. When the chocos get out of the burrow, scare them back in. The boogie choco achievement will pop after you scare 10 chocos back into the burrow. And when you reach 20 interactions with the companion, the restored connection achievement will pop as well. Slide left, use the elevator, and go left to find letter 11 and 12. Turn around, move between the buildings, and right. 180 and up the stairs for letter 13. And then go back. Pass the point where you made a right, and then make a right. Right trigger and left trigger, and left thumbstick to the left to turn the altar. You have four in the whole game. As it is the first one, the back in motion achievement will pop. Go back, climb the ladder on the left, move on the ledge, and on the left you'll find letter 14. Turn right, up the stairs, complete rock pile number 5, and then go back and use the elevator. Look up and press X to attach the rope. Swing and use the ability, then swing and grip on the plant and climb. Follow the tunnel, left. Attach the rope and then descend. Use the ability to activate fresco number 2 and then turn around and follow another tunnel. Use the ability and grab the plant. Ability again, grab the second plant. Climb on the second branch. And jump right. Continue through the cave. Climb some more, and then use the ability and continue climbing. At the top, on the left, you'll find shell number 3. After you listen to it, X to drag the bridge down, cross it, 180, and find letter 15. Turn back, and X to attach the rope. Swing back, jump, follow the path, and use the ability on fresco number 3. Go back, Attach the rope again, jump on the platform, and attach again. Jump gripping on the planks and climb. 
Read letter 16. Turn around. Attach the rope. And jump. Complete rock pile 6. Turn around, go into the room, climb, and finish the chapter. Recap for chapter 2. 8 letters, 2 shells, 4 rock piles, 3 frescoes, and 1 altar. Chapter 3. Solstice. Turn around, and find letter 17. And turn around again. 180 to find rock pile number 7 and go back. Use the zip line and continue forward. Climb and right. Note that in the sun, stamina drops faster. On the platform, use the ability and continue to climb some more. Also in the sun, the buds disappear after a period of time, so move fast. The ones hidden in the shadow, though, do not. Reach the platform, climb some more, and on the left, you'll find letter 18, and 19. Go back, attach the rope, use the ability, climb on the buds, that are safe in the shadow and use the ability again and move right fast. Ability again and climb. Place a python, descend and jump on the platform below. Turn around, complete rock pile 8. Use the ability and grip on the plant. Continue to climb using the ability to get buds and moving fast as some buds are in the sun. While climbing, you can find these sort of checkpoints. Press X to wind up the rope, replenish your stamina, and also your base stamina. Continue to climb. Attach the rope, swing, and descend. Attach the rope again using the right trigger and descend some more. Read letter 20 and go back up. Use the ability, grip on the plant and then up the stairs. Left, attach a rope with the right trigger, descend, and activate fresco number 4. Back up, ladder, ladder, and ladder again. Right trigger to attach the rope and descend for shell number 4. Climb, use the ability and climb on the plant. Forward and climb on the left. You can grip on the rocks carried by creatures and they will carry you. However, they move slower than the ones that do not carry you, so move from one to another. Then place a python 
swing and jump. Find letter 21 on the left and then turn right. Up the stairs, on the right you'll find letter 22, turn around for letter 23 and then go inside the building for letter 24. Go back, right trigger to attach the rope and descend. Complete rock pile 9 and then go back up. Left, climb the ladder, move right, and then up. Attach the rope and swing. Use the ability to grow buds, and then swing and grip to the ones hidden in the shadow. Use the ability again and climb. Jump and grab to the moving rocks and travel left with them. Using the ability stops the moving rocks. And here is a good place to stop 25 or more and get the collective climb achievement. Ability again to create buds and use them to climb. Move left. and X to the checkpoint. Descend and start swinging. You will need to grip on the middle part of the windmill. Then move right, place a python, descend, swing again and grab the planks. On the platform, right trigger to attach the rope and descend, then jump right. Move forward through the doors, left, and left again. Attach the rope, descend, and turn the second altar. Turn around, get out of the building, use the ability and grab the plant. At the top, you'll find letter 25. Use the ability again and hop on the plant. Then move left, attach the rope to the wall by pressing X and jump a couple of times. Complete rock pile 10 and go back. Use the elevator. Go left and start climbing on the moving rocks. Try to move right. Ability for buds. And then reach the checkpoint. Continue to climb. And reach the platform on the right where you'll find shell number 5. Use the moving rocks to go left and reach another checkpoint. Climb from here. Use the ability and reach yet another checkpoint. Ability again. And eventually reach the top. Left for letter 26. And then go back. Up the stairs. Attach the rope, swing and jump. 
move forward and find letter 27. Then descend to complete rock pile 11. Then ascend back. Right. Down the stairs. And find letter 28. Go back. Up the stairs. Left. And on the bridge. Attach the rope and descend. Swing. And jump, grabbing the planks. Climb. And on the left, right trigger to attach the rope and descend. Unwind, go in the building and activate fresco number 5. Go back and climb. Move forward. One eighty and up the stairs for letter twenty nine. Down the stairs and continue. Complete rock pile twelve on the right. Turn around. Climb and move right. Climb and reach the checkpoint. Descend. Wall run and ability, and wall run and grab the buds. Use the ability again and fast reach a moving rock. And buds again. Ability one more time. And jump, gripping some steady rocks. Reach the platform, attach the rope and use the moving rocks to climb some more. Go left, find letter 30 and continue left. Right trigger to attach the rope and descend. Complete rock pile 13. Descend some more and find letter 31. Go back up. Enter the building, left and right for fresco 6. Back right. Right trigger to attach the rope and descend. In the left corner you'll find shell number 6. Back left and right, up the ladder, turn around and on the right you'll find letter 32. Turn around, up the stairs, go outside and left going back. Attach the rope and move right on the wall. Reach the platform and then climb. Place a python, descend, swing and grab the ladder and climb it. Up the ramp and find letter 33. Then turn around, move forward, up the stairs, up the ladder, twice, 
and left for letter 34. Turn around and use the zip line. Up the ramp and use another zip line. Then start climbing. Attach the rope and descend. Use the ability and move right. You can actually start from these buds from the initial platform after the zip line. Use the ability again, continue on the buds and fast jump gripping on the rocks. This is where the fresh air achievement popped for me, restoring stamina more than 50 times. I actually fell before reaching the checkpoint and when doing the climb again, the acrobat achievement popped for jumping more than 200 times. From the checkpoint continue to climb. and reach the top. 180 for letter 35. Turn around and sound the horn by pressing the Y button and the chapter is done. Recap for chapter 3. 19 letters, 3 shells, 7 rock piles, 3 frescoes and 1 altar. Chapter 4. Convergence. Go up the stairs Use the ability and climb. Up the stairs again. Attach the rope. And jump to the left. Down the stairs and find letter 36. Turn around. Attach the rope again. Ascend a bit and jump on the wooden platform. Continue up the stairs. Left. Attach the rope and ascend. Move right, hold the sparks, same button as the ability, d-pad up, and only in this spot where you have hold them, when you jump, they will boost you. After they do, move right, up the ladder, right trigger and left trigger, and left thumbstick right to open the door below. Attach the rope, descend, and go through the door. Climb the left ladder and go right over the small bridge and complete rock pile 14. Go back left past the bridge, jump down and up the other ladder. Left, right, left, right. Then you will find shell number 7. Turn left for letter 37 and then turn right, follow the path for fresco number 7. Go back left hold the sparks and jump climb Turn around, attach the rope and pull the bridge. Cross it and find letter 38. Turn around, cross the bridge back, attach the rope, swing and jump. Follow the tunnel, make a left and then right trigger, left trigger and left thumbstick right to open the door. Right, climb. And find letter 39. Go back down, through the door that you just opened, attach the rope, turn around in the air, jump and grip, hold the sparks and jump. Go forward, up the stairs and then start to climb on the wall. Jump to the right. Hold the sparks and jump. 
left on the wooden platform, left, pull the bridge, cross it, and find letter 40 and 41. Go back, make a right before the bridge, climb, jump on the ramp, attach the rope, swing, jump and grip. Hold the sparks, you will also grow the plant and jump. Move left, use the ability to grow the buds and continue left. Find letter 42 and go back. Follow the plant. On the wooden platform. Climb the ladder. And follow this wooden platform. Use the ability and move left on the wall. Ability again, jump left, climb and move forward. Climb some more. Up the stairs and again climb. Jump left over the gap, climb a little more, and then jump right to reach the checkpoint. Call the sparks and jump and then continue to climb. Move forward, left, Find letter 43, turn around, right trigger, left trigger and left thumbstick, right to open the door, go through it and find fresco 8. Turn around and use the zip line. Turn right and use the elevator. Then forward, left. Left again and complete rock pile 15. Turn around, up the ladder and right. Jump over to the other side and find letter 44. Go left and find shell 8. Turn around and go forward, up the ladder on the right and left through the door and up the stairs. Continue forward and right for letter 45. Turn left up the stairs for letter 46 and then up the ladder. Use the ability climb, place a python, descend and then swing and jump right. Attach the rope Swing and jump left from where you were moments ago and find letter 47. Ascend and now swing and jump and grip on the rocks. Climb, call the sparks which will also make the buds grow and jump. Use the ability, climb on the left plant reaching the platform. Attach the rope, swing and jump. Go right and find letter 48. Continue down the ladder. Cross the bridge. And complete rock pile 16. Go back. Up the ladder. Left. Use the ability and climb. Call the sparks, jump, up the plant and reach the checkpoint. Climb some more on the moving rocks. Call the sparks and jump. 
and then continue to climb. And jump right. Walk on the ledge. Right trigger to attach the rope and descend. Move forward and turn altar number 3. Go back, use the ability and grip on the plant. Climb on the rocks. Go through the tunnel, turn left to complete rock pile 17. And then continue. Use the ability and start climbing. Call the sparks and jump and reach the checkpoint. Use the ability again, climb on the plant Ability one more time, climb on the buds, call the sparks and jump, reaching another checkpoint Use the ability, climb on the plant And eventually reach the top and make a left. Turn right and activate Fresco 9. Then go back. Pass the point where you turn right and then start to climb. Go right, place a python and descend, jump near the ladder and then climb it. Walk on the plank, attach the rope, swing and jump, grabbing the rocks, climb, reach the wooden platform and find letter 49. Turn right, use the zip line. And turn left for letter 50. Turn right again. Attach the rope, ascend a bit. Grab the rocks. Reach the ladder and climb it. Continue a bit and then start to climb again. Moving right and using the moving rocks. Reach the wooden platform, go right on the bridge, pull it, cross it and find letter 51. Attach the rope, swing and jump, gripping on the rocks. Move right, reach the wooden platform, cross the bridge and find shell 9. On the right find letter 52 and then turn around and go through the tunnel. Make a right, use the zip line, left, use the elevator, turn left, follow the path, then right, climb, jump left, Attach the rope, swing and jump, pull the bridge, use the elevator again, attach the rope again, swing and jump and complete rock pile 18. Turn around, swing and jump, up the stairs, use the ability and climb. And move left. Place a python, wall drone and ability, 
and then wall run and jump on the plant. Continue to climb. And at the top, turn left and press the Y button to sound the horn and finish the chapter. Recap for chapter 4. 17 letters, 3 shells, 5 rock piles, 3 frescoes and 1 altar. Chapter 5. Mirage. In this chapter you'll have to use the wind to jump further, but also not let the wind push you in a direction you don't want to go. Start to climb and jump when the wind is blowing up. Reach the checkpoint and continue. Wait for the wind to blow left and then jump. Same here, wait for the wind to blow right and then jump. One more time, wait for the wind to blow left and jump reaching the checkpoint. Continue to climb, move right on the blades, then on the planks, cross to the ones on the other side and then grab the blades. Reach the checkpoint by leaving one arm ungripped and gripping it when it reaches the checkpoint. Jump on the blade again and grip the rock. Climb. Grab a blade of the first windmill and when the wind is not blowing, jump and grip the blade of the second windmill. Again, when the wind is not blowing, jump right then use the ability and climb on the right plant. Climb the ladder. Right. And get shell 10. Turn left. And complete rock pile 19. Go down the stairs 180 and find letter 53. Continue forward and find fresco 10. And go back. Make a right outside, attach the rope, descend, and reach a checkpoint. Descend, wall run, jump left when the wind is not blowing, and grip the windmill's blade. Go left, place a python, descend, wall run left, and grip on the edge. Then find and listen to shell 11. Turn left, attach the rope, walder on right, grip, climb and reach the checkpoint. Climb, use the wind to jump and then use the ability and continue to climb on the buds reaching another checkpoint. Climb some more. Use the ability again. And then enter the cave. On the left you'll find letter 54. Continue in the cave, left, down some stairs and activate fresco 11. Go back outside and right. Move on the ledge and then find letter 55. As this is the last of the first type, the avid reader achievement will pop. Turn around and start to climb. Wait for the wind to stop so you can jump. Then use the ability and double jump. Again, wait for the wind to stop and double jump. Use the ability and you'll reach the checkpoint. Continue to climb. Enter the cave. Go right for letter 56. 
then turn left and jump in the hole. You'll find letter 57 and the last one, being also the last letter of the second type, the final ascent achievement will pop. Turn around, follow the path and activate the last fresco. The antique gallery manager achievement will pop. Go back out of the hole out of the cave and left. Attach the rope and start climbing. Use the wind to jump then jump again and activate the ability. Use the wind to jump again follow the plant and then move right. Place a python and descend. When you reach the max point, use the ability. Go back up. Press B to take the python, then go right. And then climb down the plant. Enter the cave and on the left you'll find shell 12. This is the last one, so the sound archaeologist achievement will pop. Turn right, turn the fourth and last altar and the cycle celebration achievement will pop. Turn back, climb on the plant, Reach a checkpoint and continue to climb. The wind is very powerful, so you will move slower. At the top, make a left and then another one and complete stone pile number 20 and the last one. The common ground achievement will pop. Turn around and right and sound the horn by pressing the Y button. The chapter is not done yet. After the cutscene, you will have to climb on the back of the big ballast. And after that, the chapter is done. Recap for chapter 5. 5 letters, 3 shells, 2 stone piles, 3 frescoes and 1 altar. Chapter 6. CZG Start by pressing the right trigger and the left trigger together and the A Faint Glimmer achievement will pop. Then climb down the mountain. Get close to a frozen ballast, the big ones, use the ability and the awakened memory achievement will pop. Then continue towards the structure. Climb the stair and you will automatically put your companion in a small backpack. Start to climb using the constellations that have small stars as well as big. 
Double jump left. Jump right. Jump right again. Jump up. Double jump left. And jump toward the entrance. Cross the building. Attach the rope and continue left. Jump left. Place a python, descend, wall run and jump right. Double jump right. Jump up. Place a python again, descend. Wall run and jump left. Jump up. Right. And right again in order to enter the building again. Turn right, attach the rope and descend. Swing and jump and up on the stairs. Attach the rope on the right and continue. Jump right. Double jump right. Jump up. Jump left. Place the python. Descend. Wall run and jump left. Jump up. And jump right for a small break. Attach the rope and grip right. Jump up. And up again. Climb the stairs. And finally, press Y to sound the horn for the last time and finish the game. As the credit starts, the Water Piper achievement pops. Now, let's recap the misc achievements. Somewhere near an edge, this is in chapter 2, press the right trigger to attach a rope. Descend a bit and start wall running from left to right. Place a python with the X button near the edge, aka end of the wall run. It may require a couple of tries, but eventually the Angel's Carabiner achievement will pop. In Chapter 2, in this location, you will be prompted that you can interact with your companion, D-pad left. After you do it one time, the Adventure Buddies achievement will pop. Keep doing it and while you do, scare the Chocos back into their burrow, as this is an easy place to do it. When they come out, scare them back in. After you scare 10 of them, the Boogie Choco achievement will pop. Eventually, you will also reach 20 interactions with your companion and the Restored Connection achievement will pop as well. In Chapter 3, after you start climbing using the moving rocks, you can notice that the ability stops them for a few seconds. If you use the ability and stop more than 25, the collective climb achievement will pop. As you climb, you will need to restore stamina. Do it 50 times and the fresher achievement will pop. Still when climbing, you will need to do jumps. At the 200 mark, the acrobat achievement will pop. For me, both of them popped in Chapter 3. In Chapter 6, press the right trigger and the left trigger together to hold the ballast tight and the Uffing Glimmer achievement will pop. As you descend the mountain in Chapter 6, you will see a couple of big frozen ballasts. Get close to one of them and use the ability, the pad up. The Awakened Memory achievement will pop. And that's it guys, 1000 gamer score for the game Juzan. I hope the video was useful and until next time, stay frosty and extra spicy.